Good morning. Happy New Year, everyone. It's great to be here with you again. This morning, the topic that's on my mind, and in fact is Chapter 7 of my Brave Soul book, is grief. And in the book, one of my favorite quotes by Winnie the Pooh says, How lucky am I to have something that makes saying goodbye so hard. I just had lunch with a dear friend of mine who lost her very best friend of over 50 years during the holidays. And as we talked about the sadness of that, what also leaked through was the joy, the love and the gratitude that she felt for having had this person in her life. I know that as I have experienced losses throughout my life, I too have been equally blessed to see them also sprinkled with rich moments of joy, love, and gratitude. And I got thinking about not just losing people, but as we move into this new year, letting go of the way that we have been and moving into something new and different. And how difficult change is for us sometimes. And I think the most important or obvious reason for this is that we want to hang on to the past so we don't have to grieve the loss of it. Whether it be a belief we have about ourselves or someone else, or just an idea that we've held to and, and wanted to be true. And so I'd like to offer us all the prayer that's in my Brave Soul book, Chapter 7 on grief and loss. What I really want you to know is that you can love fiercely. You can dig deep, deeper than you've ever imagined. And as deep as you can go, you can still go deeper. The more you love, the more you'll truly see that that's what you're actually here for. Our tears of grief are really tears of love. The sobs of despair are really cries of celebration for all that you have shared with another. Losing someone has taught me how much capacity I have to love again and again and again. Gloriously and lovingly painful. Our grief and our sadness have left us with newly felt tear-stained marks, the mark of love. And so just close your eyes with me, and I will offer this prayer. I pray that as we move into this new year, we let go of whatever it is that has held us, beliefs, thoughts, people, jobs, and I believe that if we just relax, let go, and allow ourselves to be cradled in the arms of love, we will be made whole. May you realize that whatever it is that you think you have lost, it's not really gone. In fact, it's just become a part of you a part of the very fabric of your being. In fact, it has woven so deeply into your heart that it is yours forever. May you know that grief is just love. May you celebrate moving forward, embracing the new, letting go of the old, and may you surrender and open yourself to all that the divine has to offer you in this new year. And so it is. Amen. Blessings.